American quality and durability have been traded in for higher profits, lower costs, and cheaper materials. And while American companies continue this trend and continue to hire lower paid, less skilled employees, other countries have been stepping up to fill the void that the old America left behind. Unless you're at a bake sale or a charity auction, if you're knowingly buying a crappy product and telling other people that they should do the same, then you, sir, are either an idiot or a liar, not a patriot. We get comments now and then asking us why we don't use brand X anymore or why we don't switch over to brand Z. And usually the answer is super simple. Their quality isn't good enough for us to stand behind and recommend to everyone else we talk to on a daily basis in good conscience. A guy I know was working for a sheet metal manufacturing shop a few years ago, and part of his job was literally peeling the Made in China stickers off of some of their products and replacing them with Made in America stickers. When he told me about that, I was immediately aggravated. It didn't matter to me that the end product was being assembled in America. It didn't matter that this company employed Americans. All that mattered to me was that they were buying this stuff from overseas and misrepresenting it as American-made when in reality it was just American-assembled. Now this was garbage, and that company was willfully deceiving American consumers. But what if that product had been made in America? Does that mean it would have been a better product by default? Odds are that it would have been, as China isn't exactly known for making high quality anything. But would I have been equally upset had this guy been peeling off made in Switzerland stickers? Probably not. The fact is that times have changed. Not too long ago, say 40 years or so, made in America actually carried meaning. It meant that you were getting a high quality product that would stand the test of time and was the very best that the world had to offer in terms of technology, innovation, durability, and value. I just saw an American made fridge from 50 years ago for sale on social media and the seller wanted 50 bucks and it quote, still worked great. But over the last few decades, America and other countries started to produce some really terrible products. Buy a new fridge today for $2,000 and you had better buy the three year warranty because you can bet that during that time, the motherboard or some other component is going to fail, and when you go to buy a replacement part, it'll be obsolete and out of stock. I'd be willing to bet that all these companies realized that there wasn't any money to be made if their product lasted forever, so now they're engineered to fail every couple of years. At the very least, they can sell you parts, and the profits just keep rolling in. Now there are some exceptions. Kenna Metal is an American company that makes great, durable products. Tesla makes the best electric vehicles, hands down. And that's why our shop is full of Kenna Metal tools and Titan, Gina, and Tyson all drive Teslas. As a patriot, you should want to support your country and make sure that your countrymen are able to work and put food on their own tables. But if you keep having to replace these products over and over and over and getting less and less for every dollar you spend, eventually you have to draw the line. What would happen if you found that same product made in another country but it would last you five times longer for the same money. And what if that product actually resulted in people in your country having jobs? If you bought it, would that make you some kind of trader? Or would that make you a smart consumer? What we do is we start off by finding the very best in quality and durability. Then we look at what that company is doing in our country. Are they employing local people on their sales and service team? Are they willing to do their part to further education and apprenticeships right here at home? We want to support a product that is changing our country and our industry for the better, and that's why we choose companies like Heller, Tornos, Trump, and DN Solutions. These companies offer incredible quality for the money, employ thousands of Americans, support free education in our trade, and because of all this, we're proud to recommend them to everyone else. And in doing so, we make sure that our country has a future in manufacturing, that the little mom and pop shops and the monster aerospace companies all have the same chance at being profitable. And that's why we started the Titans CNC store as well. All these big companies get these huge back-end discounts, so instead of chasing markups and profits, we cut our prices as far down as we could so that everyone could use the same tools that we do without paying some insane list price that's triple what the big companies are paying. Sure, we could just fill our shops with products that aren't that great and recommend them to all of you out there, but after a very short while, we would have zero credibility. Instead, we're flooded with messages all day every day from satisfied customers wondering why they didn't make the switch sooner. Their machines are lasting longer and performing better, they're getting better tool life and faster cycle times, and they're making more money. 
And in the end, these shops are able to offer products that are made in America by Americans. And that is patriotism, brought to you by Titans of CNC. Thanks for listening. Be sure to check out our store, our free online CAD, CAM, and CNC Academy, our free certification platform, CNC Expert, and all the other videos that we put out giving the world of machining the recipes for success. See you guys next time.